Proportions are king on the ACT. If I could only have you learn one pre-algebra topic, it would be proportions. It's critical. I mean, it just absolutely is. It shows up all over the pre-algebra section. It shows up in similar triangles, a few other places. So proportions are just two ratios set equal to each other. Now, in the last video on ratios, we talked about how ratios are fractions. Ratios are relationships. Ratios are fractions. So this is a proportion, two fractions that are equal to each other. To solve, we'll cross multiply. There's a great video on that as well. So up times down, 2x is equal to 4 divided by 2. x is equal to 2. That makes sense, right? 2 fourths is 1 half. That's the way these proportion problems will always work. There'll always be one unknown. Now, at times, that unknown can show up in two places, although that's not very common on the ACT, but there'll always be one variable. So let's look at a word example. Now, in the bottom of the screen, I didn't use an ACT example. I used just a regular example out of the book so I could talk a little bit more about the method I would use. At the test guys famous fruit emporium, there are three apples for every four oranges. Go ahead and write that down. So apples to oranges is three to four. And let's take a time out there and talk about this. So the most important thing you can do is make sure you actually write down what you're talking about, your entities. Because if you don't, you run a really, really big risk of flipping something around. And that'll make you miss the problem. Take the extra second to write this down. It's just, it's so helpful. Not only will you make fewer mistakes, but it'll kind of keep you from getting confused too. So in the next column, I'm going to write down what I've got. There are 120 apples. How many oranges are there? So apples, that's going to stick with apples. And I'm looking for oranges. I could call that O, but I'm going to call it X. So these are, my, these are my two ratios. And I know that this ratio is equal to this ratio. So I can turn these into fractions. I could say this is this. I'm going to use small and big. You could also say basic ratio and whatever you want to call it. But I, I, I wouldn't necessarily do this part while I'm solving. I just want to use it to explain. So I can turn these into fractions. I could say small to small, right? Three to four is equal to um, 120 over x, right? And then I think it's obvious at this point where I can solve. I think the easier way to do it, though, is to do it vertically. I can make two fractions this way and just set them equal. And that's okay because I have small here, both in the numerators, and I have big in both the denominators. I'm comparing like to like. If I flip something around, I'll get the problem wrong. So just cross multiply, 3x is equal to 480. x is equal to 160. That's all there is to it. Now, obviously, these problems get a lot more sophisticated. You end up with uh, ratios where you're given the parts, and then you have to make the whole, and then set that into proportion, or um, similar problems with extraneous extra information. But this is the basic mechanism. Learn how to do this, and everything else will fall into place. Set up your entities. Set up the ratio that's complete. Below it, put the stuff where it belongs. Make them fractions, set them equal, cross multiply. That's how you solve all of these problems. Now, there may be some extra junk before it, but that's how you get it done. Spend some pencil on it, set it up, and you'll get it right. These are important points because this is a key skill. It shows up more than once every single test, and it relates to other stuff. It can be necessary to solve other problems.